Hello beauties. So I'm Michelle and today we are going to open up a fashion sta mystery box. It's not fashionista, it's fashion sta. Um, I think fashion sta is like an online website that has all kinds of stuff you can buy, articles, things like that. And they came out with a uh, subscription box, which is supposed to be amazing, but they have it on their L wait list right now. So I've been waiting and waiting and checking every hour, every day to see when they're going to open up the wait list to hope, hope I can get on it because it's great. So anyways, when I was looking on the website, I realized they had a, a beauty box, uh, a mystery beauty box. And so I thought, hmm, I'm going to check that out because the, I've seen the uh, subscription box unboxing and it's great. So this was $50, which was kind of pricey for a mystery box, at least I thought it was, unless it's like a name brand like Jeffree Star or, you know, something like that. I thought it was a little pricey um, because you only get five items in it. So I went ahead and I took the plunge. So let's open this up. Full disclosure, I did open this up um, ahead of time. I pulled it out of the box and it doesn't have tape and stuff. So, you know, I was like, oh, I'm just going to peek in there. And when I peeked in there, I was like, hmm. So I decided to go online and check what each of the items cost. Um, I usually don't do that. I usually like to, I usually would do that after or I like to be surprised, but I don't know. I just was like, mm, I'm going to go check this out. So when you open her up, it says contour your fears, highlight your dreams, lash out for beauty. Joelle fashion, fashion stuff, beauty insider. And this is what the box looks like inside. One, two, three, four, five. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out here is a Pratic by Sigma Beauty Beaut uh, Power Blender. And it's just, it's just a beauty blender. Um, I've never used one of these, this particular brand, but I know Pratic is Sigma's like sister brand that's a lot less expensive. So it feels just like a regular beauty blender. It's got that flat edge there. But yeah, the material feels very similar. Um, so I looked online on practic.com and this sells for $9. This exact one, exact color, power blender, everything. $9 for this, okay? Which is a good deal. If it's a good blender, that's a good deal. Next thing we have here is a Lime Crying Velveteens. Um, lipstick, liquid matte lipstick. Now I, I don't know a lot about Lime Crime. Uh, I haven't researched it, but I know there's a bunch of, I know there's been some drama with them in the past. I've never really uh, looked into it because I've actually never had any products from them. So when I looked online, these normally go for $20 and I went on LimeCrying.com and FashionStud.com. On FashionStud.com, they're $20. On LimeCrime.com, they're on sale for $12 right now. This is in the color Pumpkin. I actually haven't actually looked at the product. I just looked at the box. Oh, that's pretty. That's a nice, that's a cute packaging. The roses. And it kind of smells good. This is what the applicator looks like. I already know that's not going to work for me. It's hard. To, it almost looks orange. But let's swatch her anyways. Wow. Oh my goodness. But I do know somebody this will work for. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah, I could. I don't think I could pull that off. What do you guys think? I don't think I could do it. Um. That's very pigmented. For people that like, it felt very soft too. Um, I'm not a huge lipstick girl, so, or liquid lipstick, so I don't know a lot about it, but the, the color payoff is nice, it's, you know. Okay, so next thing we have here is a Sigma E15 Flat Definer. I've got a glare here. Um, I actually already have this brush. I wanted to pull it out so you could see. Well, okay, it's just a flat. You see that? A flat brush, flat definer brush. I already have this, so I'm not going to take it out and touch it um, because I could pass this on to somebody else that you know doesn't have this. And I don't think I'll use two of them. It's not a brush I use all the time. 
on sigma.com this retails for fifteen dollars fashionstud.com this retails for fifteen dollars now i did find it on bloomingdales.com on sale for twelve seventy five so this you can get this for twelve seventy five okay next thing we have here is a palette crown pro i have used crown brushes but i have never used um a crown palette and there's no name there's no um like palette name there's like this item number down here you can see that but yeah there's no actual like what the name of the palette is so when you open her up oops, this is what she looks like and I'm not gonna swatch all these because here let's do it this way because um, I don't know if I'll use this. I'm not a neutrals girl. I mean, I, I'll do a neutral eye every once in a while. Like even today, I did more of a purple. It's like a darker purple. Um, so I don't know how much I'll, but it's a nice, I think it's a nice neutral palette for people that really like the neutrals. Um, but yeah, still no, no palette name. I did go on fashionsta.com and I saw a palette that looked identical. I'm pretty sure it's the same one. And they have that selling for $29 on fashionstud.com but I went on crown.com and I found it for $9.99 so 10 bucks so honestly so far I'm kind of eh, 10 bucks uh, what I say $12 $9 $12.75 I'm kind of disappointed because I spent 50 bucks but I do have one more item okay so this last item is the Kevin Aquan, which I've never had anything from Kevin Aquan, so I am a bit excited about this. The Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting is what it is called. And I know Kevin Aquan's pro products are great, and the color is Starlight. Now I looked this up on kevinaquan.com, on sephora.com, on fashionsta.com, Everywhere it sells for $52. $52. You heard that right. <laughs> this is what the packaging looks like. It's very pretty. It's very nice. Um, it's got like a little... Okay. And I guess it's a... See, I didn't open everything up, so I haven't tried... I didn't try any of this stuff yet. But it looks like a... A highlighter? Ooh. That is very, very liquidy. Oh, I think it's gonna be way too dark for me. Well, okay. Maybe not. Ooh, man, you just need like the slightest little bit and then blending it in, blending it out. It's pretty. It's very liquidy. Like I literally could just take, probably take my finger and kind of, probably shouldn't have done that because I do have, um, powder. I have powder on. I'm probably breaking all the rules here. I don't even know if I see a difference. Do you? I guess I should have taken a better look before you guys notice any difference. But I mean you literally barely, not even a whole pump and blend it out. It is a bit dark but I, I could see where you just use a little bit. It's beautiful. God, it kind of would look nice on Let's try something. I feel like because it's so thin, you could easily use it as like a body highlighter. People are probably like, oh my god, what is she doing? That's not how it's done. Let's see. Do you see a difference? This arm. God, my arms look horrible. I don't either. I mean, in person, it's slightly, very slightly. Or like, if I put it up here, maybe or if like i was you know on my shoulder <laughs> we will find a use for it i mean i'm i'm happy with it but i probably i wouldn't i would not spend i don't care if it's kevin aquan i wouldn't spend 52 dollars on it um but i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna try it out next time uh tomorrow whenever i put makeup on again and see how it goes so i totaled it up based on the cheapest price that i could um 
you know, like I could find, like this, I found for 12, you know, this was, or 12.75, this was 12. So based on that, um, my box cost $95, or it was a value of $95.74. So it definitely was um, more than the $50 value. I, I'm gonna use this because I have it, but it's not something I'd buy. And I'll use this eventually. I probably won't use these three. This one, like I said, I already have this, and I don't use it that much as it is. The Lime Crime color, mm -mm, it's just not my color. So I'll pass that along. And the Crown Palette, I don't think I'm going to use either, so I'm going to have to pass that along to somebody. See, if I had more subscribers, then I could do a giveaway. Hint, hint. <laughs> People are like, if you keep acting like that, you're not going gonna to lose the subscribers you have. <laughs> okay. Anyways, but that is what I received in my fashion style box. Let me know what you thought. Did you think it was a good uh, value? I'm used to getting boxes that cost less and have a higher value. So maybe I'm just being a brat, but I did get my val I did get double my value pretty much. So, or double what I paid um, in value. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought. What do you think of the products and do you think the value was good? You think it's worth it? What is it something you would buy? I don't think I would do the mystery thing again fashion stuff personally but anyways let me know what you think and please subscribe to my channel um, and share 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 <laughs> I'm trying to get more subscribers and I don't know how to do it I'm sure there's ways I'm sure you know there's I just don't know so anyways but thank you so much like this video ring the notification bell and I hope you guys have a beautiful day